Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series. This is actually the first time ever that I've done a full sort of let's play series in multiplayer. So it's still going to be sort of out of control because we will oh, better turn the uh, traffic off otherwise it really is out of control. Uh, yeah it's still going to be out of control where people can do anything they want to because that is the whole fun of multiplayer. But at the same time we are still going to be farming so we do still have things to do. We're still going to be plowing, cultivating, drilling, harvesting and foraging and all that kind of stuff. Uh, whereas normally in multiplayer we just do one random thing every week and then we move on. So it's going to be a mini-series still. I don't know, five to ten weeks? Well, ten weeks is a while. Uh, probably five weeks, up to five weeks, I suppose. It will depend on how well it goes down. But first, I've got this JCB which I wanted to look at. It is the TM320 uh, and actually it is very customizable. This is all configured up to forestry with the uh, the wide tracks which you can put on it. You can actually just have uh, tires if you'd like to without the forestry cage on the back here and without the strobes. I don't think the strobes actually flash. I think they are just basically set up like that. Static. Um, but even so, it does have interactive control. So it's like the, the base game one but only with improvements as far as I can see. It's also in uh, more of a a monochrome sort of uh, texture color scheme but I'll show you it in the store and it is actually available on Mod Hub. it's been out for a few weeks now hang on where are we uh, telehandlers there we go so that is the, the store page um, icon for it that's the picture for it you can choose the main color as you can see default is the color we've got wheel setup is standard tape drive which is tracks wide tape drive which is what we've got and forestry. Um, we then have light bar, default beacons or LED flash bar and front flash bar I assume and forestry, forestry cage yes or no we've got it set to yes for this one here. So yes I am brand new to the map never played it before this is Sussex Farm should have explained that to begin with but you've probably already read the title of the video anyway so it's fairly self-explanatory. I can see that no Mo Crazy Cow is asking to see where the uh, the seed refill point is, and I actually don't know. There might be one, there might not be one. We may have to use the uh, pallets, but yes, that's why we've got the JCBs. I don't actually know what's going on here. It, it's a roundabout, but it seems to be used for just literally going round, which keep going round and round the whole episode. Sounds like fun. Well, it sounds like fun for about 30 seconds, and then it gets very boring. So I'm going to put this away. I just wanted to show you it basically. It will be used in the Let's Play though, probably for compacting a silage pit or something. In fact, it might be used today because I know that I have bought two forages, so chances are uh, there will be a bit of silage going on today. I'm just going to buy some more tractors because I know these players here are desperate for me to buy something. Let's go for an orange voucher. I've never bought one before, I don't think. An orange one. And we'll also go for a New Holland. There we go. That should keep them happy. I've bought numerous implements as well, so there really shouldn't be any sort of waiting around for me to buy stuff, but it looks like they might have been used. I think they have been taken. Well, we'll buy that as well. I've done most of the buying off screen because I knew that it's not really the most interesting thing to watch ever. I suppose we could do with buying... We could do with getting some more money, actually. But we could do with buying some more mowers, or some mowers. I don't think we have any mowers. Despite it being a let's play, there is no limitation on money. There just can't be in multiplayer. And we'll get a tether. Oh no, should we? No, we won't get a tether. We'll get a windrower. As far as I'm aware, the fields are massive. Right, so I'm going to leave them to it. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go and grab a different tractor and head off to the other fields. There are some very interesting soil points, like very smelly manure or smelly manure. You have different pungencies. Sweet potato. Runny slurry. Plumpton farm. Some very interesting names here. As far as I can tell, every single field is actually planted. We do own every field. That is not default. That is something I've done. Um, so yeah, free roam of the entire map for everybody who wants to join the server over the coming weeks. So pick a field, do some work in it. Have fun, basically. Windows. Right. So, um, Chains 100 is over here. Don't think Otis 9 got in today. Hmm, don't think so. Oh well, um, I'm sure he'll 
keep trying, maybe get in later. So I'm going to grab probably a plow. I would love to do some plowing. We've got the class Zarian, 5000 just here. This is not the saddle track, it is the track VC. So I'm going to grab a plow, a suitable size plow, and start plowing after a common harvester. So, or the Lemkin is the obvious one to go for with a trash of this size. So I will do. We'll go for this one here. Oh, that's not good. I'm using the keyboard accidentally. We'll use the steering wheel. That would be better. Yeah, using the keyboard because I was obviously doing things, typing and stuff, but forgot to change it back. Can we put this into two wheel steer? I don't think you can actually use four wheel steer legally on a road in the UK. Oh well. Oh, we can. We can. That's good. Front wheel steer. There we go. So I should probably actually familiarise myself with the tractor first. Change the menu. That, I'm assuming, changes. Yep, changes that there. We don't need it on. So this is actually, again, another one of those tracks which I've always wanted to have. But to be in keeping with my Let's Plays, my single player Let's Plays, I've never been able to buy it, the same as many mods, uh, just because it would not be in keeping, it's just too big. But for multiplayer, I can really go wild with these things, so that's what I've done. There is actually another one, I've purchased two for this Let's Play, uh, there is the Zerian 4000 as well, I've got the 5000, so it's around, keep an eye out for it, if you, if you spot it, post the timestamp down below, especially if I don't see it, I, I might miss it completely. So that's the challenge. Look out for the Zerian 4000. There is some crazy driving going on ahead of us here. Although to be fair, I know they can be very difficult to drive with a keyboard. So if, is it, was it Boston? Somebody called Boston? If, if they were driving it with a keyboard, it's totally understandable. The same as if they were driving with a steering wheel or something with lag. Just as painful to do. Uh, so yeah, field 30 is the one we're going to. There is a bit of lag. It is expected though, because we've got a lot of machinery, and this this map is pretty big. Sussex Farm, set in Sussex, I believe. Sussex Lane. Yeah, there's definitely lag. Hopefully, it holds up for a number of weeks. Uh, usually, the further we get into a save game, the harder it is for the server to run and for the, the players to run as well. Um, but yeah, we'll just keep going until it's impossible. As soon as it becomes impossible to play. We will move on. P1, is that a placeable area? That must be designed for placeables. Yeah, it says construction area just there. Yeah, as I said, I'm totally new to the map. Never played it before. Driving blind pretty much here. I was trying to explore it for the first time. So this is the correct way to fill 30. Um, there's no rush though, because obviously the combine harvester has only just started, and I don't think there is actually a tractor and trailer here yet. So, and, and, and we have such a big plat, we're going to catch up in seconds. So, no rush at all. I've got to say, it's uh, a different style map to what I was expecting. I was expecting... Well, I knew it was big fields, because I've already been told that. But, I was... I don't know. Uh, probably tighter lanes. Uh, don't take that as a bad thing. That's still a good thing that the, the lanes are, are wider than this. Obviously the, the, the track itself is narrow, but there's no hedgerow sort of encroaching to the road. Oh. Just let somebody know. Hopefully somebody is good enough. I'm sure they will be. In fact, what I might do is buy some more trailers, because we could really do with a few more. But so far, what I've seen of this map, it looks very intriguing. And very detailed. There is a track going up into the forest over there. That would be, uh, again, quite interesting to go and drive through, drive up, go and see what it's got to offer. Might have some crazy stuff there. Somebody mentioned um, something like uh, a giant gold nugget or something. That's some noisy grinding or whatever. A giant gold nugget on the beach? Is that south of field 36? I might have to take a look later. See if I, if I 
leave the tractor, I'm going to lose it. Somebody's coming, that's good, that's very good. And in fact, it would be a good idea to also get some more combines here as well. Uh, well, this first section here can be the first section we start with. I'm not trying to rush the combine driver. But it would be nice to do some ploughing. And yeah, obviously if we can get some of the, the harvesting done quickly, that would be good. Because we can do, do some other jobs. I think actually, yeah, I will I'll buy another combine harvester. Because we are... Bit thin on the ground of the oh dear. A million pounds really goes nowhere <laughs> in uh, in farming simulator. In real life, it would be an absolute dream come true. Ah, oh, that's the problem. That is one issue I have noticed, and that is when you're trying to buy the big headers, the store doesn't seem to have a big enough sort of area to spawn them. It does. It can spawn them. But as far as I can see, if you've got anything else in the area, it won't appear. You can have a corn header, yes, whoever you were. Cherry, but uh, it might not be able to appear, like I just said. So, And actually, I don't know what combine you're driving. Ah, turns out to be not a combine, but the forager. Well, that keeps it simple. Uh, you want the corn header? That's this one here. Hopefully it will spawn, yep, yeah, because it will be, all be folded up, so that shouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, the traction trailer has arrived. The combine continues, and I'm still trying to get the uh, the bigger New Holland header to appear at the store, but it's still blocked, so bear with me. Done, I bought it. So I'm getting a fairly steady 20 frames per second at the moment, uh, so this map is certainly difficult to run, server is struggling. Hopefully it can keep going um, otherwise we're going to be a bit stuck anyway I'm just waiting for a bigger combine to arrive it's coming very soon I think Kevin is bringing it and then this section here will be cleared and they'll be working over there and we can start plowing here so as usual we are waiting here we are we've got Kevin hopefully he, he gets that message um, yeah, for some reason this piece here has been left. Please, somebody come and do it. No, everybody's going to clear it. Fantastic. That means we should be able to do it now. We should be able to begin. Kevin should be able to take in the rest of it. In fact, Kevin possibly would have been able to take in all of it, but oh well. Let's begin. Bit of ploughing. Yeah, like I said before, it's not every day I get to do a bit of ploughing in, in a multiplayer big scale like this. Uh, obviously, I can normally do it with the smaller ploughs in the smaller fields, but never the bigger stuff. Oh, somebody must have left. Weasel has joined the server. Yeah, they're very busy over there. I can hear a lot of noise. It must be the lumberyard, I assume. Cutting up all the wood into planks and all that kind of stuff. I'm actually catching up with the combine. I shouldn't be. One thing's for sure though, we'll never catch up with them properly. Because uh, they'll be moving over there. And we'll be doing this piece here. I'm only going to do a bit and then the worker can take over. And I would like to do a really good screenshot too of this tractor. And actually we can put the uh, other option back on of all-wheel steer. Crab steer, all wheel steer, there we go. That is good. Did somebody mention me? Grain, uh, anywhere. But cell point sounds good. Okay, so yeah, as you've probably noticed already, Chainsaw 100 is in the server, so chances are he's doing his own video. I don't know if he is, but he always has done before, so I'll link it if he is doing one. And that will most likely be a time lapse, so should be worth watching. It's like watching the same video sort of thing from a different player's perspective in a time lapse form. So you should see the whole multiplayer session in just a few minutes. But not from my point of view, from somebody else's. I get the feeling that this tractor can actually pull much more than this. 
we need an even bigger plow. But I don't think there is an even bigger one for us in the base game. Well, what do you think of my plowing so far? I have done that piece, it's just not updated. Come on, come on game, update. We want to see what I've done. I don't know why it's so slow updating, because it never used to be an FS15. Let's hope they sort it for 19. Right, we'll, we'll go back up again, and then we'll stick it on a worker. And then, it's updated look, kind of. And then yeah, it'll be time to do a screenshot, which will most likely be the thumbnail. And then we'll have to find a different job to do. Still not seen the Zerian 4000, I don't think. Unless you have, maybe you have. I've not seen it, I don't think. You see, the server is full. There's only a few of us here. Everybody else is busy all around the map, which is something I love to see. Instead of everybody crowding around the same field, um, they are spreading out and actually managing the entire farm, which is definitely the best approach. Yeah, this piece here still hasn't updated. It will do. It's suddenly ping and then it'll be done. There we go. It's slowly getting there. Right, so onto a worker. It may miss a bit to begin with. But then hopefully it'll be doing a good job. Of course that doesn't stop anybody from taking over. They can do if they want to. So we'll set the field of view to 10 and we'll uh, get ready with our camera. Blimey. Good job we had the camera out. <laughs> right. I can't see a thing. Uh, sorry, probably making you feel ill. There we go. There is the Zarian. Okay, that's pretty good. Of course, the heads-up display is still on. That would do. Interestingly, we have the uh, the quad track parked on the village green uh, with a full load of seed. That's weird. Oh well, uh, we'll take it over to field 30 as well. So where is this in relation to everything else? Where on earth are we? Can't see myself on the map. Oh, I know where we are. We're down where Zack is. So we need to go all the way north again to... Oh, Crikey. Sorry. <laughs> Let's blame lag. Uh, yeah, all the way north to go west. Southwest. But at least it gives us an opportunity to look at different areas of the map. Because I probably won't be doing a map tour in itself, because we're going to sort of be touring the map anyway as we do each video. Um... But yes, at the end of the row, we rejoin the same road that we were on before, after the synchronising. I'm assuming that some players are actually suffering quite badly from the lag because they keep disappearing. Um, and well, I know what a mad rush it is to get a slot on the server. So for anybody who does get one and then just leaves, well, I'd be amazed. Really? Oh, who's in the wrong here? Me! I'm in the wrong. This is England, of course. I should have known that. So yes, eventually we are going to end up at field 30. We have to go through the tunnel. I hope this can fit through the tunnel. It's the height that would be the issue. Um, but we're turning left here. Yep, Sussex Lane. We've been here before. We should be able to get the whole field drilled in a very short period of time. Let's hope the plough is still working. Whoa! Whew, synchronising. It will give me time to take in what is in front of me. Okay, it's a tractor on its side. Well, we've got that established, and for some reason a bizarre pile of grain. I have no idea what's been going on here, but I can reset it. Um, I think it was Sam that was in the tractor. We could also try and push it over, which might happen, actually, with the uh, quad track. 
Um, of course, if we hit it with something like the Hurleyman, we'd just stop dead in our tracks. But um, if we have enough speed, let's just floor it. We might be able to upright Sam. Come on. We're going uphill, so it makes it a bit more difficult. <laughs> um, come on, Sam. Upright. Upright. Okay, that's that's you angled in the right position. I'm going to reverse back and we'll, uh, we'll have a good run up. A run up with a very large implement fully loaded, so that's going to be uh, plenty of speed. Okay, just about managing 11 miles per hour, but it's done it. It's enough. Brilliant. Off you go, Sam. Right. I have no idea where he was going to. Must have just taken the bend too quickly. But yeah, the height is no issue then. I thought this tunnel was a bit smaller than it actually is. It's massive. And then we should end up in our field. Here we are. Okay, so we've got a, a new driver in the tractor. Um, nice comments coming through the chat there. We'll choose the crop type. I think actually we'll probably keep it with what it's on. Soybeans, that's a, a pretty good crop to do. It's worth a lot of money. And there's no straw or anything like that. So the worker did make a bit of a mess here. Or was it me? Probably me. Okay, so... Yeah, we're going to catch up with the plough, no doubt about that, but... There's no rush. And actually, I think this is a direct drill anyway. Make sure I get right to the edge. That would be the deciding factor. If it is a direct drill, it is. Because it is cultivating the bits that were missed by the plough. The only reason why the plough is here really is just to diversify the jobs and to use a different tractor. Nice to see the Zerian. So the harvesting is coming to a close over there by the look of it. We are going to take a look and see what everybody else is up to on the map. We're just taking a look at a very small snippet of the work that's going on today. Because field 15 looks very busy, so does field number 3 and 7. And I should think there'll be some other fields too. Oh, G4 as well, grass 4, down the bottom. That's very busy. So, yes, we'll definitely be taking a look at all these different things that are happening. I'm just job jumping, basically. That's what I have to do in multiplayer, so that we can see everything. And it's okay, because if I leave the tractor here, somebody else will continue. Yeah, not the straightest of uh, lines ever. But is it better than the worker? That's the question. Or worse than the worker? Now, I'd say the worker is better once it gets established. It's just when it starts off, that's when it, it really does miss a lot. And this is the moment where we catch up with the plow. I think it's lost its driver. I'm pretty sure it's back on a worker. Oh no, no, it isn't. It is still a human being driving the tractor. Yeah, we're just about <laughs> staying within the lines of the plow. Super close. Now we have all of this area here now as well. So really we should wait. We should stop and wait. So we'll take this opportunity to fly around the map in our so-called drone. And we'll take a look at all the other fields. The only problem with buying all the other fields is it's now sort of eliminated our uh, teleporting points. We can normally teleport to a field which we don't own. Uh, but yeah, now we're going to have to teleport to a place of interest. Let's hope the next person who continues the drilling sticks with the same crop. Otherwise, these fields are going to be multicoloured. So, yes, field 15 has always been the one which has turned to me to be very busy. Um, it, it's always had lots of players in it. Ready to harvest, harvested. It is a field of soybeans. And the nearest place is Plumpton Farm, which, again, we haven't actually been to. Welcome to Plumpton Farm. Ah, yes, so we do have uh, seed refill points and fertiliser. And something... Li no, not liquid fertiliser. Fertiliser? Liquid fertiliser. 
and uh, seed. So yeah, that's all established. Good. Ooh, a digger. That must be the smallest field on the entire map. Field number 17. A perfect field for doing a unique cropping. Something which you don't really want an awful lot of. Especially if it's a trial crop. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to have to fly. Whoa, it's actually a scrapyard. I didn't realise. Oh, there's quite a few vehicles here. Many scrap vehicles. This one looks to have burnt out. Nasty. Quite a few pickups and all the, the vans here. You see all the terrible drivers, the AI traffic on Farming Simulator, when they crash into us. This is where all the vehicles end up. And here's another one just here. Oh no, wait, that's a player. Didn't crash. But almost did. <laughs> right, so, well, workshop too. So let's see everything from above. I should think this would totally transform the map. I also want to try and find this massive gold nugget which someone spoke about in one of my comments. Um, that, that wasn't in the video. That was actually in a, a previous video in the comment section. So, the field which we were going to originally, that one over there. We've got like a lake or a pond or something over there. Well, definitely a lake. That would be a big pond. But actually, it's a very nice looking map. And we're much closer to the air traffic as well. Much closer. I think we can probably actually go to the same level as that. So we could almost have a plane crash into us. Which wouldn't be pleasant, but it is possible. Uh, it would just go straight through us. So that is the field. It's actually a really big field. Soybeans. Most of the fields are huge and fairly rectangular or square, so perfect for a worker. But yeah, they've been very busy over there. Just didn't want them to uh, go through the entire video without being acknowledged. And there are the names Zach and Dan Carlion. Hopefully, I got that right. Uh, so next, we're going to the beach. Because the beach is a fun place. Where it is from here, I don't know. Oh, Sussex Port. Yeah, where's the beach? Here. So, yeah, I really don't know what was meant about this giant golden nugget. Maybe there isn't one, or maybe it's the wrong beach. Who knows? Even so, it's a good looking map. And actually, I didn't even realise it had water around it to begin with. But it does. Nice port. A up, A up, look who's just joined the server. Only an hour late, but it is tough to get in. Very tough. Uh, it does actually start to empty about an hour after it's opened, usually. But if anybody can shed some light on this giant gold nugget which somebody mentioned, please do, because I have absolutely no idea uh, what was meant by it. Okay, let's do a bit more driving. So, here we are over at the BGA. Uh, we can do a bit of compacting, it's not going to take us very long to do. Um, but that's what we're here for. The JCB is here. And, I don't know, the JCB might be a more tempting thumbnail. They're both really good. But with its all, all of its fancy lights and everything, it's uh, certainly an interesting looking machine. Amazing, in fact. Right, let's do a bit of compacting here. I should think the wide tracks are really good for doing this job. Can really glide over there. Okay, looks like we have got another delivery. Oh, oh, we've got two. Oh, hang on. Why is there some grain coming to here? That would. That is just strange. Um. Unless it's some weird glitch where it's showing up as green to me, but it's it definitely is not the right place. <laughs> yes. Interesting. I've never seen it happen before actually, but it's always the first time for everything. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, let's continue to compact this. I don't know how the drill will be getting on. The drill and the plough. Hopefully quite well.
Did some bump into me. I, I didn't feel it. Um, Bob the Builder is apparently appearing in the Eurovision Song Contest. No, he's not. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's um, obviously when you're watching this video, the Eurovision Song Contest will have been and gone, and you'll know the winner. But as we were recording this, we have no idea who. Which actually is a good opportunity for me to say my opinions on stuff and see if I'm right. Um, this could go really badly wrong if I get it wrong, but the favourite is Cyprus. And although I like the song, I think there's something about it which is not a winner. It's a, it's a very addictive song to listen to. Um, but I don't know. It's really hard to say. And it might win. But, um, yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if another song creeps in front and wins. It may even come out of nowhere, I don't know. Uh, or Cyprus may just win, so <laughs> you'll be able to tell me anyway. Oh, I'll already know, you don't need to tell me, but uh, yes, you'll be able to no doubt rub it in if I'm wrong. But if I'm right, oh, think about that. It would be one of the first times ever. One of the first times I've ever been right. Uh, one thing that uh, we do know is the UK is not going to do terribly well, although the support is still there. Hang about, Sam, what's all this about? It's 100% done. How long have I been doing it for, will it being full? Ah, next load is here. Well, while we're waiting, I'm going to go over to Field 30, or the sawmill. Field 30 via the sawmill. And we'll see how things are going. Which direction is the field? There it is. So it looks like we've got two players in the tractors. Possibly the plough is on a worker. That's definitely not on a worker. How much money? Over one million. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that's definitely not on a worker either. So we've got all people here. Real people. That must be empty, I assume. Must be time for a refill. Yeah. Don't be surprised about the over one million. I cheated it. We can remove it. If we don't want to have so much money, we can remove it. It's just as easy to delete it as it is to gain it. This JCB is still at the store. Obviously it's the, the wheeled version, not the tracks. They call it something like... What do they call it? Tape? Tape tracks or something? I've not heard the term before, but it might be well used. So what we'll do is we'll take it over to the BGA and then somebody else can drive this as well. With these lights being continually on, these strobes, it makes it very bright. <laughs> it's uh, definitely improving its looks. It looks amazing with them. But I don't think there's any way of turning them off. Well, it might be. Oh, it could be an interactive control, I suppose, but... I can't say... Oh, I'm drifting now. And where is the BGA from here? Probably gone the wrong way. Um, I'll find it. It's somewhere down here. BGA bunker. Straight on. That's it. We should always follow the road signs instead of relying on the map. Uh, BJ Bunker still straight on. There's the port. Busy being blinded by the strobes. Um, yeah, and there might be a control for them. Now I'm even more blinded. That was a mistake. There we go. Um, right, uh, you can only imagine at night what it would be like. It must illuminate the entire area. Was I supposed to turn left or is it up here? Here we go. The marina is left. Uh, left here. Oh, that's for people weighing in. Oh. Here we are. So if somebody else wants to take over this, they can do. Whoa! Getting air in the JCB. So I think what we'll do is we'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, yeah, until the next episode, which will be next Sunday, I think we'll leave it there. And uh, yeah, there'll be two videos today, so this is either the first or the second, obviously. Uh, I would have thought this would be the first, so there should be another one coming today.
unless something messes up and this ends up being the second video. But basically, if this is out by three, there's not another video coming today. Uh, this is likely out at about seven in the morning, but we'll see. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.